I don't think anybody's prepared for something like this. When I found out that New York City was going to be shutting down all restaurants and bars, I was very confused. I had trouble sleeping. I knew after a few days of me staying home and sheltering in place, this wasn't going to be a way that I was going to handle the situation. I'm the type of person who's going to put in the amount of work that's required in order to be successful during a time like this. How far are Nightly Taking Care segment highlighting people who are helping out their community? Jeff Kaplow in New York has started a project called Heroes to Heroes, where they organize meal deliveries of Subway sandwiches to healthcare workers at their local hospitals. This is the first round of chips and sandwiches going into the hospital. We got round two coming up next. My name is Jeff Kaplow, and this is my hustle. So Heroes for Heroes originated when a friend of mine, Jen Asher, had reached out and she had mentioned that she wanted to do something to help. She has a friend that's an anesthesiologist at Mount Sinai and as soon as they let me know that this was something they wanted to do, I was all in. Within two hours of our initial conversation, we had a GoFundMe page up and within a matter of two or three days, we'd already raised you know, over $10,000 in order to help the food costs and the labor costs and the utility costs to run these stores and to get these sandwiches to hospital workers. Jeff is one of the most energetic, eager people I have had the pleasure of working with. He's just really excited and I think that the passion behind the project really has lit a fire for him. We're individually wrapping the sandwiches in the clear wrap to make sure it stays nice and tight and fresh. Then we're wrapping them again in the sub wrap. Let me throw a freshly baked chocolate chip cookie in. As soon as we get 50 of them in here, we take it, we close up the box, we throw it in a back counter refrigerated unit to stay fresh before we bring it to our delivery. And that's the process. You know, 300 times, 400 times, keep on doing it. And we're up for the day. All right, the lift's arriving, heading down to the store. First thing I'm gonna do is sanitize the handle, sanitize the seat, put my bag on my lap, I'm trying to be as careful as possible right now. and we're off. First stop, Maiden Lane, then we're gonna head up to the hospital. Hey, Benita. How's it going this morning? Beautiful morning. My name is Vinita Verma, and I worked with Jeff almost six months, and thanks for Jeff, he gave it the chance to make sandwiches for the hospitals, for the nurses and the doctors. After everything's prepared, I've been personally delivering all of the orders. We either call a Lyft or an Uber. My guys help me load it up. You know, I get in there, I sanitize the car, I throw on my gloves and a mask. Yeah, I've never seen New York City like this. I've been living here for almost four, 13, 14 years now. You know, you walk down the street, you see two people, you see three people. It's sad, but you know, we need to be doing this to see better days and people need to self-isolate, they need a shelter. Um, if you're not doing something that's absolutely necessary, I would recommend you stay home. Yeah, this is going to be right here, perfect. We're working with the Mount Sinai Morningside and Mount Sinai Network of Hospitals. Our first delivery was last Wednesday to Mount Sinai Morningside. We delivered 250 lunches, and we have two more deliveries scheduled for Wednesday and Thursday this week. So by the time Thursday rolls around, we'll have fed over 1,500 hospital workers. We're in the Uber right now. We're bringing all of these sandwiches to the Mount Sinai Upper East location, and then um, we'll be on our way. It feels good towards the end of the day when all the work you've done in gets there, it's good to go, and you could just relax. So this is, this is, this is the most satisfying, gratifying part of the day. I just want to stay here and do something for the people, you know? Because when I think about these doctors and nurses, oh my God, I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I cannot talk. It's too much pain, you know, how these people, they work over there, you know. I would trade everything in for this to end tomorrow. There's so many people out there losing family members and, you know, whose lives are turned upside down right now. My dad passed away a few years ago from cancer. And the hospital workers were amazing in taking care of him. So I feel like 
right now, I'm giving back to those that were helping my family and have helped all of our families. It's just, it's, it's what keeps me going. I think the best part of Heroes for Heroes is that it's a channel of expressing gratitude and I hope that, you know, people are able to see that it's just a genuine idea that really took off because everybody really wanted to say thank you. And Jeff, being able to keep his employees employed and, um, you know, Heroes for Heroes, he is a hero behind all of this as well and so are his workers. My hustle is, you know, it's my grind. It's forcing myself to get up when I'm tired because, you know, I know that if I put in a good 10 hours, a good eight hours, or even a good four hours, it's gonna put me in a better position that day than I was the day before. So it's all just about moving forward and improving every day. Okay, here we go again. Heading down to the stores now. Here we go. You know, there's just nothing more that I would want than for this thing to go away. But in the meantime, we're doing what we can to help, you know, those who are helping us. That's it. If I tell them I'm tired, then all of a sudden they're also going to start getting tired, you know? No, I'm not tired because I'm doing the great thing for the people. I feel so good. Hey guys, thank you for taking the time to watch my episode of My Hustle. We hope you enjoyed a behind the scenes look at what Heroes for Heroes is doing to help hospital workers across New York City. If you would like to donate, please see the link to the GoFundMe page in the description. Everyone stay safe.